Welcome back, lads. My name is Kossi. We're back again. It's match day and Arsenal take on Brentford. Match preview. We're going to be diving into all that. We're going to be looking at the predicted lineups until when the final lineups actually come out. Do smash a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel. We're going to speak much about this game in terms of what do we expect your predictions. I, I would love to get in your predictions um, as early as I can. And um, th th that is the biggest thing that I, I would love to have, um, you know, in this show. Your predictions. Mine um, is a simple one. I'm going to go for an optimistic one. Um, Arsenal 2, Brentford 1. That is my, that, that is going to be my, um, my, 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 my simple prediction. Arsenal 2, Brentford 1. We are away from home. We are traveling to one of those clubs that have been, uh, that have just been uh, promoted um, in the Premier League. Now, wh what is funny is this is not a game where you say, Arsenal absolutely do not have a reason to lose it. It's not that game. It's, it's, it's a very different one. Um, it's a game where we expect Arsenal not to actually come out um, and, and have a lot of dominance. I, I, I think our quality is not still, um, it's still not you know, at that level. But I, I do expect a lot of interesting action. It is good that football is back. It's good that fans are back in the pitch, um, in the stands. And it's also good that we have the, you know, the, the Premier League back again. I mean, um, it's, been, it's been a while since May. Um, now it's August, around two, you know, two good months, three good months uh, without football. Good enough. Football is back, and Arsenal will be taking on Bre uh, Brentford um, away at the Brentford Community Stadium today at exactly 10 a.m. Make sure you do watch it. You could, you know, use Sky Sports. You could use uh, DSTV. You could use um, uh, any outlet you can. Make sure you're watching. You know, you're watching in uh, live in this game. Tell me where you're watching from, and let me know your prediction. Like I said, it's the most important thing that I, I, I would love to hear from you. Um, what is your prediction and what exactly do you expect um, out of this game as well? All right. Um, okay. Uh, Bob says it's going to be 3 2. Arsenal, three, Arsenal winning 3 2. Um, and then you have Nazu says Arsenal 4, Brentford 1. Uh, you have Soldiers uh, say, uh, Joe saying uh, Smith Rowe will score. Um, uh, Isma says Arsenal 3. Um, Steven saying Arsenal 3 2. Come on, you Gunners. Uh, that is according to. Uh, my man there. Eric says Arsenal 4, Brentford 0. Um, Joe says Arsenal 3 0, uh, Arsenal, uh, and Arsenal win. Arsenal 3, Brentford 1. This is Pius. Um, Arsenal 2, Brentford nil as well. Uh, Seiko. I would love to see Balagan up front. Martinelli just got back. This, according to um, uh, Oriami, it's, it's, it's a chance for both, uh, for both lads. Come on, you Gunners. Okay, um, uh, this team, uh, I'm not thrilled with Arsenal, but we shall win uh, with a little margin. Arsenal 2, uh, Brentford 1. Okay, um, uh, Weiss, uh, uh, Weiss who says Arsenal wins as well. Okay, um, Isma says, I'm watching from Uganda. Arsenal 3-1, big up. Um, Arsenal wins, this according to Weiss. Um, uh, Arsenal 2, Brentford 0, this according to Kelly Nosu as well. Arsenal 4, Brentford 1, this according to Amber. Um, Akiza says Arsenal 1, Brentford 1 as well. Um, update to Nabameyang. Abameyang is out. We're gonna be diving into that. We're gonna be diving into that. Don't worry. Um, it's um, it's zero three for me. We will win um, convincingly. Brilliant. Thank you so much for the comment. Really, you know, nice energy. Arsenal two, Brentford one. It's according to uh, Rah uh, Rahman. Um, Brentford zero, Arsenal one. Uh, on Gary. Okay. Um, uh, Prince says Arsenal three, Brentford one as well. Um, uh, and Delembe says 3 1 Arsenal. Come on, you guys from South Africa. Big up. Uh, you know, much love from South Africa. Hi, Kosi. Why do you say that Arsenal is not going to have, is not having backup goalkeeper because um, Alex Renison? Uh, you know why I say that. Uh, you know, you know why I say that, Lawrence. I, I prefer to have a quality goalkeeper. Um, Smith Wall, Saka Pepe, all to score from Kenya. Uh, that's really optimistic, Joe. Um, Kamara, Arsenal 3, Brentford 1. Big up, Kamara. Uh, from Namibia, Arsenal 3, 2, Brentford. That is according to Andala. Uh, and um, Andalala, right. Okay, Arsenal 2, Brentford 1. That's according to Martin. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Lochap. Lochap says Arsenal 0, Brentford 
You didn't say Brentford zero as well. Watching it from Abu Dhabi, Arsenal one, Brentford two. So Gamina says we will lose four four nil uh, according to Vincent. Um, this, that is his, uh, his predic prediction. Um, Chinedu one nil uh, in in favor of Arsenal. Stella, hi, Chris. Good evening. But this is not an easy game. But I think it will end two two. Yeah, I'm gonna probably it goes Galoa. Probably it goes Galoa. Um, Apollo Vincent says Arsenal two and Brentford one. All right. Um, you know, watching in from uh, Mozambique, that is my man, uh, Kelenosu. Pia says Arsenal 3, uh, Brentford nil. Right then, lads, thank you so much for uh, the prediction. Let's try to dive into um, this game and see what exactly do we expect out of it. Um, what should Arsenal do? Um, and what are the predicted lineups and what, who I think should start? Um, and exactly, you know, when the lineups come out, I'll be able to let you know. And then we'll dive into that as well. Like I say, the game starts at exactly 10 p.m. East African Standard Time. Okay, um, here we go. This is according to Sofesco. And it's the um, tech note of Sofesco is the website we'll be using for match previews and match reviews. I'll, I'll say it again. Sofesco is the, um, is, is the, is the app. Or is the website we'll be using for match previews and match reviews. I will not be having much match watch alongs. I don't feel them. I prefer to concentrate on the game fully. Right. So according to them, obviously this was uh, put out a couple of um, you know hours ago before the, the news of Abamyang and like is it? Uh, but they're saying um, Leno could have started in goal. Um, Pablo Mari, Kiantiani, Ben White, Kalum Chambers, Albert Sambelakonga, Granny Jaka, Nicola Pepe, Emu Smith, Paul. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang and Alexander Lacazette. Um, and then for Brentford, David Dreyer in goal. Because you know David Dreyer. We, we wanted to sign in David Dreyer um, a couple of months ago. I think it was um, in January. We tried to bring in David Dreyer. It failed. Even last summer we did. He was one of our, you know, our priorities uh, in this summer. But I think um, you know, Brentford decided to keep uh, the player. So um, you know, for Brentford in a 5-3-2 uh, formation, they could play uh, Henry Pinnock. Jameson, um, uh, Christopher Aja, um, Kenneth in a back five with a midfield um, of three of uh, a midfield three of Frank Onyeka, Christian Nogard, and uh, Vitali Janet. Um, up, up front, that is where they are very, you know, they are very uh, deadly and dangerous. Uh, they have Ivan Tony, uh, who scored 33 goals last season, and um, and and, and Brian Mbuemo. Uh, who plays uh, you know alongside Ivan Tony in a four in, in a five three two um no a four four two occasionally so um we, we we will dive into players to watch in this game uh and what I expect uh, you know and, and what I expect out of it uh but just before that if you look at the players that are out uh for both teams um uh, Joshua De Silva is out for Brentford um and then uh, uh, uh Matthias Jensen is also out. Gabriel Jesus, G Gabriel Magales, sorry, um, is out for us. Arsenal, Thomas Pade, um, and uh, Eddie Nketiah is uh, are also out uh, for Arsenal. If you look at the Premier League table, it's fresh. Arsenal are on top, and Brentford are in third. No points played. I mean, look, you know why I love the first game, and, and you know why um, at times I love to play for the you know to play the first game, uh, to be the first game you know the, the first game players in the league. It, you know, there's a way. There's a way. It, it makes you just, you know, just go up top. Like if we win it, we will lead the table. I mean, we are already leading it. We, we are already leading it. But if we win it, we are up the table. If, if we get a draw, uh, th there are slim chances that you know, uh, you know, we, sh you know, we will stay there. But if we win it like three one or three nil. Um, we have we stand a bigger opportunity. Uh, probably by the end of the first week, we will be around second or third or fourth. Um, and then you know if, because if, if you look at you know the, the games upcoming for Arsenal, uh, we'll play Manchester City next. Is it Chelsea? It's Manchester City next. Then Chelsea. It's it's absolutely not easy. So. I think this is a very, very important one for Arsenal. Mikel Atita knows this, um, and everybody knows it. If you look at our last game, our, our last games that we played, um, uh, this is um, uh, this is actually we shall play Chelsea next. Sorry, we shall play Chelsea next uh, um, at the Emirates Stadium after visiting Brentford at the Brentford Community Stadium. So, um, you know, our past performances have not really been so good. We lost to Tottenham in the um, in the in the mind series one 0 uh, and we also lost to Chelsea in the mind series too. Uh, Preseason, uh, two goals to one. We had uh, we we had we had um, 
a two all draw with Rangers. We also uh, we were also beaten by Himanian uh, two goals to one. Uh, obviously, in preseason, still we, we, we did have um, a four one. Uh, you know, uh, we, we did have four one wins against Watford um, and um, and Midwall respectively. So I think. Um, you know, it's a, a little bit of a, you know of a positive, but I don't think Arsenal should be celebrating because we beat Millwall um, and Watford. Really, okay. Um, uh, you know, club. Uh, you know, for, if, if you look at you know Chef, uh, Brentford um, and their last performances, they did beat Valencia two goals to one. Um, then they lost to West Ham one goal to nil. They lost to they, they drew with Manchester United uh, two two. Um, and then they beat uh, Boham Wood uh, 2-0 and also, uh, you know, beat uh, FC Wimbledon uh, two goals to... Actually, one goal to nil. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. That's it. You know, these are not confirmed lineups, people. Uh, these are not really confirmed lineups. These are the expected lineups that we expect Arsenal to uh, really start with in this game. Like I said... Pierre Emerick Aubameyang is out, and Alexander Lacazette um, is also out as well. What that means, really, is um, you could have Arsenal, and, and I'm really serious about this. You could have Arsenal start Gabriel Martinelli or Balogun uh, up front. If 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 Balogun starts um, up front, I could have Gabriel Martinelli start um, instead of Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And what that does, really, is it's going to affect our average age on the position uh, on the pitch. Um, if you look at our our, our average age um, in this one here on surface score, it's actually twenty six point six um, years of age. Of course, you have the likes of Granit Xhaka that are, that are uh, doing twenty eight. Um, then you have the likes of Ben Leno who are twenty nine. You have Pablo Mari who is um, around twenty seven as well. Uh, Lacazette is thirty, and Pierre Emerick Aubameyang is thirty one. So um, our our uh, and, and, and Pepe who is twenty five. So. Um, our, our 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 average age actually drops drastically. Even if it's Saka, we start because Saka is a teenager. Even if it's Martinelli, we start because Martinelli is a teenager um, as well. So let us try to look at some of the statistics um, in this game. Points to not, uh, you know, um, you know, in the game probably, uh, you know, hope you can see this very very well. Um, uh, this will be the first Premier League meeting uh, between. Um, this is the uh, this is the first league meeting between Brentford and Arsenal since May nineteen. 19- 47. A match the Gunners won 1 0 at Griffin Park. All right. So we are, we are playing them. We are playing them. Um, how many years are these? How many years are these? 1947. Someone do some easy calculations there. 1947. This is so long ago. Like, absolute so long ago. Really, really long ago. So he last played them in um in in nineteen you know uh, in, in nineteen forty seven, and we beat them one now. Last season, one of the things we saw last season was um Arsenal and Mikel Arteta destroying our records against the likes of Burnley, against the likes of uh, you know against the likes of Leicester City, um and a couple of that. I think, and I pray that this season things change a little bit. That is my prayer, that things do change a little bit. I do not actually want to see Arsenal losing games, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know um, with that magnitude. I don't want to say it. So, um, like I said, like, like I said um, uh, it's the first game we are playing against them ever since 1947. Just to do some little calculations here, uh, how many years are those? How many years are those? How many years, how, how many years are those? Probably what? 40 years? 50 years? Not really sure about that. But it should be... It, it's, it's more than 60 years because my country got independence in, 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 in 62 and we are 50 years old, probably. Um, just need to find the right calculator here. Where is it? All right, there we go. So um, we are in 2021, are we? 2021. And it's 1947. So 74 years. It's, it's, we last played them 74 years ago, and we didn't lose them. You know, we didn't lose to them. We absolutely didn't. Um, Arsenal have won just one of their six visits to Brentford in all competitions, drawing one and losing four. This is crazy. Though um, this will be the first such meeting since 1947. So, um, we, you know, this is crazy. We played these guys six times away from home, and we have only beaten them once, drawn with them once, and they have beaten us four times. 
So we don't have, we don't really stand a very good, uh, you know, record, you know, against them. If, if anyone is interested um, in, in, in records, we don't really stand a very good record against them away from home. Brentford, okay. Uh, Brentford will be the, uh, will be the 50th dream, a different team to play in the Premier League and the 10th from London. Just 11 of the previous 49 participants have won their first ever game in the competition, drawing 15 and losing 23, while no side from the capital has won their first ever Premier League game, um, you know, their first ever Premier League game, drawing five and losing four. So uh, this, this is a, 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 another, another a match st a statistic that doesn't actually fall on their side. Um, in the Premier League, actually, if you're playing the Premier League for the first time, because um, they last played in the league in 1947. That means um, by that time, was that was the Premier League there? Uh, probably not. So they're playing for the, in, in the Premier League um, for the first time. And no, uh, no, 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 no London side, um, according to this statistic, no, actually, they're saying, well, no side from the capital, which is London, has won their first ever Premier League game. So they could be on their way to, to make history uh, if they win it. Um, when kicking off their Premier League season, uh, away from home, Arsenal are unbeaten in seven games, winning five and them drawing only two. Since losing one nil at Sunderland um, in the 2000-2001 uh, campaign, the Gunners began last season with a 3 nil victory away against promoted side Fulham. We could replicate that. We could replicate that uh, as well. Brentford, um, again, uh, Brentford against Arsenal is only um, Brentford against Arsenal is uh, is only the third ever game in the Premier League history to be played on a Friday, the thirteenth. The other games were in April two thousand one, with Bradford City winning two 0 against uh, against Charlton and Leeds beating Liverpool two. One okay, um, so that's um, those are some of the statistics, um, you know, Google can provide us with, um, at the moment. Like I say, we're gonna try to dive into your opinions, dive into your uh, you know, predictions. What do you think about the game? Pelmerica Bamiang is off, uh, Alexander Lakat is uh, Lakat it is off as well. What do we expect and what do we think? The lineup should be out, um, in the next, um, in the next 10 minutes. The official lineup should be out, um, and I hope Sophie's call. Do update us with that, but even even if they don't, um, I'll be able to provide the official lineups from the official Arsenal website as well. So, um, wow, it's refreshing. Have, no, have we got the lineups? Not really yet. Not yet, really. Not yet, really. Okay. So, um, uh, speaking about speaking about. Uh, players and key players. Let's dive into that at the moment. Um, with, with Aubameyang and Alexander uh, and, 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 and Alexander Lacazette out, um, who are our key players? That is my question. Let me know down in the comments below who are Arsenal's key players at the moment. I won't use the full screen because I, I know we you know we do not need it um, at the moment. What we need at the moment is basically uh, you know uh, you know, try to look at the lineups and and these players and, and things like that. So. Um, Playing a, uh, a five at the back, I reckon they might play a low block. Uh, you know, a Brentford could be playing up, could be going for a low block because um, if, if unless they're using flying, um, flying, flying fullbacks, that's going to be a little bit difficult for Arsenal. But if they're not, you know, using flying fullbacks, then they are going to play a low block. And that's what I expect. A 4-4-2 or a 5-3-2 uh, for me is the same. They're using two strikers. Um, ben White and Pablo Mari have got to be very, very, very careful uh, when it comes to, you know, tracking these two men, especially uh, Ivan Tony and Brian Mbwemo uh, in there. So who are their you know, key players, uh, you know, for Brentford? I think, um, you know, Ivan Tony is one of them. Ivan Tony is one of them. If you look at his rating um, in the past games, uh, Brentford Swansea 7.3, uh, Brentford uh, Bournemouth 7.1, and um, and um, 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 uh, Brentford Bournemouth Brentford, uh, you know, uh, 6.8. But if you look at um, if, if you look at this game, uh, he actually came onto the score sheet against uh, Swansea, and uh, he came onto the score sheet uh, against uh, against Bournemouth. And one of the things you, you you've got to know uh, about Ivan Tony is. He scores many goals, 
he absolutely scores very, very many goals uh, for Brentford. There is no question about that. He scores very, very many goals for Brentford. Actually, um, uh, you know, last season, like I said, at the beginning of the stream, he scored for them 33 goals. That is damn huge. Smashing the uh, smashing the, the the championship, uh, you know, uh, you know, limits or, or 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 you know, target uh, or record of most goals scored. And um, Mikel was speaking about Ivan Tony, um, and he said, "Well, you, you've got to give them the respect. You've got to give them a lot of respect because um, whatever kind of recruitment they've done um, in that area of of of, of the striking positions has been so good last season." Uh, they lost Oli Watkins to 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 uh, to Aston Villa, and all of us know what Oli Watkins actually did at Aston Villa. What a season uh, the lad had! It was a very very brilliant season uh, from Oli Watkins, and I, I I do reckon. Now look, I, I cannot really say uh, Oli Watkins is going to have a very very brilliant season. He's starting this season with an injury. Um, too bad for him. Um, I, I would have preferred otherwise, probably. But one thing I can reckon and one thing I can say is uh, um, um, Ivan Tony is more of another Oli Watkins. They love scoring. They do score goals. So their key player for me is um, Ivan Tony. He's a very good one. And their goalkeeper, David Dreyer, is another very good goalkeeper. So um, with Arsenal struggling to score goals, number one, and number two, with Arsenal already struggling to uh, score goals and now without Alexander Lacazette uh, and pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Number three, with the, with less creativity, uh, you know, on the pitch, you only have Emu Smith as the creator. There is no backing of Granny Jaka and Albert Sambilakonga in terms of chances created. Arsenal is going to struggle a little bit. Arsenal will struggle. So, for me, uh, keep players for Brentford. I'm going with David Dreyer as well as... um, uh, I'm going with David Dreyer um, as well as... um as well as uh, Ivan Tony. And if you look at his rating in, 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 in his past appearances, 6.5. Um, this was when they were beating Bournemouth. And um, they also beat Swansea and had a 7.0. So he's a key man. For Arsenal, who are our key players? It's, it's, a, very, it's, a, it's a big question. Big, big question. Who are our key players in this game? Let me know um, in the comments below. I would love to hear, you know, to get, you know, to get in your opinions um, as soon as possible, as much as I can. Who are our key players in this game? Uh, with Aubameyang and Lacazette out. So, uh, key players in this game, one is going to be Nicola Pepe. Now, this is obvious. This is absolutely obvious. With, with, with Lacazette and Aubameyang out, the only... Pro, uh, no, the, the only... You know, I don't want to say call it professional because the likes of Saka and Martin Lee are professional as well. But I think the... the, the um, uh, not elder. What is the word? What's the word I want to use? Um, I think... Okay, let me use, you know, you know, elder. When I get the word, I'll, I'll actually replace it. Um, the old, you know, one of the elder attackers at Arsenal is Nicola Pepe. Lacazette is off. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is off. So we are left with um, Smith Rowe, Saka, Martinelli, and Bellegan. Um, among, uh, out of the four, I think you add Pepe five, actually. Um, so out of the five, Pepe is 25. The rest of the lads are less than, I, 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 um, are not yet 21, actually. Matt Nelly is, is, is probably 20. Um, Saka is a teenager. The likes of Balagana teenagers and, and, and things like that. So the question now is, can Nicola Pepe step up? It is time for Nicola Pepe. Can he step up? That's the big question for me. Does, can he give us those appearances that we have always asked for? Can he be the £72 million pound signing? Not really by scoring goals or creating many chances, but can he do those vital runs? Can he do those vital, uh, you know, make him outstanding that, you know, make his quality and value outstanding today? Nicola Pepe is a key player for Arsenal today. There's no question about that as well. Now, the other key player... Sorry to say this, it's Kian Tierney. Now, um, we know what Kian gives Arsenal. There's no question about it. We know what Kian Tierney gives Arsenal, and, and we know what we like um, when Kian Tierney is injured, out of the game, or, or even uh, just on a bad run. You know? and, and that is how serious it is. Just having a bad run, yeah? Just having a very, very bad run, Arsenal, um, you know struggle in terms of creativity because if you look at this Arsenal side where does our creativity come from 
I think Kian Tierney is spot number one. Emu smith Wall is spot number two. Nicola Pepe and Saka, those are the four spots that give us creativity uh, in Arsenal. With Kian Tierney getting, um, you know, Messi anywhere, um, th that spot actually dies out. I don't think Xhaka and Lokonga are going to create any two chances, two goal scoring opportunities per 90. I think the best they can do is 1.5 or 1.3 uh, or 1.47 per 90. Xhaka, I mean, I don't want to go into that, but we know, at least we know what you know, Albert Sambi Lokonga uh, can actually give us. So, Tian is a key player, Nicola Pepe is a key player, and the other is Ben White. I think the responsibilities that Ben White is going to carry on his shoulders um, in this Arsenal side are actually bigger than, uh, you know, th than what he should be carrying as a new player. Honestly, I think they're bigger than what he should be carrying as a new player. Because as a new player, um, it's more like you, you, you want to come at a side where you fit into the system, where, you, you know, where, where you, you're welcomed and things like that. It's not going to be like that for, for Ben White. He's going to have to take the lead. The defense is very disorganized, especially with Callum Chambers and Pablo Mari um, in there and, and Ben Leno mistake after mistake and Mikel Atta wanting to play from the back. I think Ben White is going to have a lot of work to do, uh, you know, in, not only in this game, by the way, uh, but in our season. Very, very vital in our season. Whatever mistake he does, trust me, it's going to cost us dearly. And whatever right, uh, right decision um, he takes as Ben White is actually going to you know, give us a lot um, and a lot, uh, you know, of, 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 it's going to do us a lot of benefit um, at the moment. So, people, key players for me, Ben White in the defense. Try to organize it in the midfield, maybe. Um, you know, in the defense, it's Ben White and, and, and Tierney, but I'm, I'm, I'm counting on Tierney in terms of creativity. Midfield, okay, I might say, uh, but Sam Lokonga is a key player because of his, um, you know, physicality and the way he uses his body and um, and, and his ability to move the ball forward and 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 and, um, and his cleanness in tackling and things like that. Uh, so probably, uh, he's one to watch. Um, obviously, when I say key players, I also mean you know, players to watch, um, you know, in the game. So, um, I'm still waiting for this Arsenal lineup to actually come out. I'm still waiting for this Arsenal lineup to come out, um, and then we can you know discuss deeper what you know, what Arsenal uh, you know is aiming and, and what Mikel Arteta is actually aiming. What do you think about the two strikers being out? That is my big question to you, uh, you know, people. Right? Okay. Um, you know, someone is spamming my comments. Uh, I don't know uh, if they're trying to spam uh, 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 spam my comments or things like that. Okay. Um, I would love to take some some more of your predictions as well. I'd love to take some more of your predictions as well. Uh, Apollo Vincent, who said uh, Arsenal two one, um, and then uh, Kelly Nosu from uh, you know from 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 Mozambique. Arsenal two, Brentford one, um, uh, uh, Brentford one. Okay, it's so going to rev. Um, Lawrence says Arsenal two, Brentford nil goes from Laka. Um, and Saka Laka is not playing today. Uh, I say that. Kosi, please update me on Madison. We are we are, we are up for. Um, the new game, so no really talk, no need to talk about James Madison at the moment. So Rocco says I don't want Abamyang um, in the lineup. Okay, what I know Arsenal will win. I mean, we shall see that in the in the match reaction because the match reaction is also coming up very very soon. Hello, could you tell us as the situation of Odegaard and Awa? Not at the moment, probably. I mean, um, we are closing transfer rumors, so why do we need to speak about them? Uh, you know, so much at the moment. Arsenal two, Brentford nil. It's according to Gomez. Okay, Arsenal two, one, Brentford. Uh, um, DML Zambia, there's someone, my man, uh, 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 David Lungu. Um, Ochuba, Emmanuel Joshua says Arsenal 4, um, and Arsenal 4 1 win. Okay, John says, Hi, Kosi. Uh, this is our first three points, and I'm late, but uh, you know, forgive me and I'll um, and tell me uh, about Martin Odegaard. Martin Odegaard, there is nothing I know at the moment, nothing like real nothing I know. Um, from uh, from Nigeria, Joshua, big up from uh, big up Joshua from Nigeria, Brentford 1, Arsenal 3. It's according to um, you know, in investment, uh, like Stripe Vast Investments. Okay. Um, Amos says, Hello, Kosi. I think it will end in a draw. You know what? You know, let me tell you something very interesting. Um, if it ends in a draw, I'm not jumping into shock. Like, honestly, I'm not. I'm not jumping into shock. And I can, I, I can confirm to you, we are going to be underway. Okay. 
it's gonna be anyway. Um, the, the, the starting lineups are out. The starting lineups are out. That's what I wanted to say. And I was gonna say we are underway, but we are not yet underway. The starting lineups are out, and I'm gonna share with you my screen. It's loading a little bit slower, so give me some uh, two seconds. Two seconds. Otherwise, um, as it loads, we could just you know, we could just fall onto the screen. Why not? Um, you know, why not? We're used to that. We're used to that. So Leno starts in goal. Callum Chambers, Ben White, Pablo Mari, Kian Tiani, Granny Jaka, Albert Sambilakonga, Smith Rowe, Nicola Pepe, Florin Belligan, and Gabriel Martinelli. That is the starting lineup, the lads. We have been debating whether Martinelli starts or Balagan. And the manager, uh, uh, Arsenal, the, the Arsenal, Arsenal called him the boss. The boss has decided that we go for both of them. Martinelli and Balagan both start. The new revolution, the Arsenal revolution is here. What do you think about these lineups, people? Let me know. On the bench, we, the goalkeeper on the bench is Carl Hain. Bellerin is on the bench. Cedric is on the bench. Ainsley matlan is on the bench. Rob Holding is on the bench. Nuno Tavares is on the bench. El Neni Mohamed is on the bench. Rhys Nelson and Saka are also on the bench as well. That is our starting lineup. That, that, this is where we discuss uh, now really and truly. This is where we discuss... Um, the real thing. So Leno starts. No comment. No comment. So I don't. I don't expect anyone to say why did he, you know, choose Mikel, you know, Why did he choose Ban Leno? I mean, there is no other. And I think he, he. Look, I'm happy with the lineup. Like I don't want to even lie. I don't want to even lie. I'm really happy with that lineup. Leno in goal. Chambers are tried back. Look, is Mikel Arteta finally getting to his senses? Is Mikel Arteta finally getting to his senses? Because look. This is Arsenal's best lineup with Aubameyang and 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 and, and Lacazette being unwell. What what do they mean? Is, where do they mean they are unwell? I don't get it. I don't get it. Like they are unwell. I don't know what that means really. But honestly, it's our best. It's our best lineup. So Leno in goal, Chambers right back. Um, Pablo Mari and Ben White will be playing in that centre back. Uh, you know, uh, you know, centre back partnership. Rob Holding. Get in the bin finally. Um, can't see any my captain starts um at um starts at at at, at left back. I mean he's in, it's undis undisputed. He is the best in the world. Like he is the best in the world. Um, in terms of playing that you know in the position. Okay, Jaka and Abu Sambilakonga. Mohamed El Neni doesn't start. Pick up Mikel. Pick up Mikel. Pick up Mikel. Pick up Mikel. Mikel. You've worked on your team selection, bro. You've worked on it. I don't have any issues now. Like, I really don't have any issues with Mikel in terms of team selection. I don't have them. I don't have any issues. Because he plays Jaka and, and Absam Lekonga with Pate being injured. That is the best he can go for. Honestly. You know, we, 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 we would love to, you know, to, to, to scream. I would love to scream. Well, you know, I, I'd love to see how Sam Owe there. I would love to see Ruben Nevis probably there. I would love to see um, maybe Renato there. Maybe I would love to see Bissouma there, but they're not our players. Our players are Jaka and Abu Sambilakonga. If, if he had picked Ainsley to play, because Mikel can do that. He could play, he could pick Ainsley Martin uh to play in, in, in midfield. Like he could do that. And, you know, absolutely disgustingly, um, I, would be, I would be shocked. But I'm not, I'm, look, I'm not shocked. Like I'm really, really not shocked. Um, I think we are we are on the right track. We are absolutely, absolutely on the right track. So, um, 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 okay, that's the pivot. Then um, Sambi, uh, then Smith Wall will be the ten. Pepe probably on the right hand side. Martinelli on the left, and Balogun on uh, as the striker. What do you think about that, people? Let me know your comments. Let me see if 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 if, if the lads. Let me see if the lads have actually. Updated the lads at uh, the beautiful people uh, at Surface Club. I'm, I'm so sorry for not actually asking for their, for, you know, for their permission. I don't think I needed it to use their, to, need, to use their content, did I? Okay, there we go. They have updated it. We are playing a four-two-three-one formation. We are playing a four-two-three-one formation with Leno in goal. Now, you know, now those dashes you see um, are what we call, you know, 
I mean, they will tie into player ratings later, um, and we'll dive, we'll dive, you know, dive into them when, 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 we, when we do uh, the Arsenal review. So, Leno in goal, a back four of Chambers, Ben White, Pablo Mari, and Kenti, any bigger Mikel, Albert Samuel Konga, Granny Jaka, uh, you know, at, 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 you know, at the pivot. And then Smith, Paul, Gabriel, and Nicola Pepe will be flo uh, following Florian Balogun. Saka doesn't start. I think the reason Saka doesn't start is easy for me. Is maybe they're ju they're just trying to, you know, give him more time to you know to rest probably. Um, Brentford as well are playing a four-two-three-one with Ivan Tony up top. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So they're playing um Ivan Tony up top. Um, some formation has asked now. They're playing Christopher uh, Christopher Alja or Christopher Ayer, uh, the, the Norwegian. Um, I tried back. They're playing, uh, you know, Pontus Jensen, uh, who's their captain. Who's our captain? Granny Jaka. Jaka is our captain today. Um, I don't have any issues with that. Uh, Pontus Jensen is there. Is, is uh, Pontus Jensen and Ethan Pinnock will be playing um, at centre back. Rico Henry will be playing at um, a left back for them. Uh, Frank Onyeka is, is in the pivot today with Vitaly Yanet. Sergio Canos, Rija, uh, Christian no uh, 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 Nogad, um, and Brian Bueno will be the three um, flowing, uh, following Ivan Tony in a 4 2 3 1. What are your thoughts on this game, lads? What are your thoughts? Probably we could have a better look at the lineups uh, here. They haven't actually provided them at, at, at Google. Uh, they haven't, but I hope you can see them very well here. Very, very well. So, um, that is, the, you know, those are the lineups. And I, I think, I feel like my prediction is going to come true. Arsenal 2, Brentford 1, it's going to be a very tight game. Very, very tight. Like, a very, very tight game. Very tight. But I'm really happy with Mikel Artite's selection. Um, unless you're not, but I'm I'm really, really happy with uh with, with this selection. Um at times he knows, you know, at, at times it goes um awkward in terms of selection, but I, I you know, this time um you know I don't think he's gone awkward. I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gone awkward. I think you know he's just fine. Uh um I think it's just fine. I think it's just fine, I think it's just fine. Okay. Uh need to look at someone is spamming my comments. Oh my god. What's happening? What exactly are you trying to say? I mean, you're many of you, and I don't get it. I really don't get it. If you're trying to spam my comments, I'm going to have to block you. So please don't spam my comments, because I won't hesitate putting you out, all right? I won't hesitate putting you out. Please do not do that. Okay? Don't do that. So Stella, said, Stella was like, let him give Martinelli a chance. We all know he doesn't like him, but we need him today. Like, I, I, look, I mean, you know what? I don't agree with the, the narrative and the agenda uh, that says Mikel Arteta doesn't like, you know, uh, Gabriel Martinelli. We know he was injured, you know, much of, uh, much of last season. And when he came back, he gave him game time and the player went back to injury again. There was, you know, he needed like, that, you know, that, that time to heal. Um, and one of those people who actually always asked for, uh, you know, for the player uh, to be played, you know, a couple of times. But we've got to accept he was injured um, and he needed the break um, and finally got the break. So I, I don't buy the narrative that uh, the manager actually doesn't like uh, the player. So that is it, guys. That is it, guys. Um, you know, I hope you enjoy, enjoy the game. Uh, your predictions are in and um, we'll be back. We will actually be back uh, with the match review. Um, uh, hey guys, where will you watch this game? Which channel? Um, it depends on your country and it depends on where you watch, you know, usually watch your games from. Well, well done, Kosi. Arsenal winning tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. I just don't understand why I have so many people spamming my comments. I got to block them, honestly. So sorry. If, if you've been sending these links, it's the last time, it's, it's, it's the last opportunity I gave you. Uh, so I'll block you. Like, honestly, I will. And I'm trying to block this, you know, I'm trying to block the spammers. I don't know why. When I, I had taken a break, I feel a little bit fresh. I feel a little bit better. And now 
you know they just spam in my comments i know what to do with them because i've been on youtube for some for some time now so no need really to stress with them fine right there you go so guys um it's been a great show it's been a great show like i said um i'll be back i'll be back with the match uh with, with with the match reaction make sure you smash a like on the video and we will meet at the other side when we win we draw or we actually don't win the game because i mean football is football um brentford will be the champion of this premier league these are going to um uh, uh, what's your name Gihaum. You know, you know what? It would be, you know, it would be lovely to see Brentford win it. Like, I love surprises. I'm not a woman though, but yeah, I maybe I would love surprises in football. Don't love them in real life. Bye bye.